Hey everybody, Phil Swanson, Senior Director of Fleet here at Generac Clean Energy, back with PowerCell Pro Tips. Today's topic, troubleshooting internet connectivity on the inverter. Let's get started. I'd like to recommend two pieces of equipment that you should bring with you to the site when troubleshooting the internet. First is a USB cable, USB-A to USB-B, also known as a printer cable. And the second is a dongle for your cell phone so that you can connect to an ethernet connection. And that will help to verify that an internet connection is functioning properly rather than just relying on the inverter to do so. First, we're gonna look at the light on the front of the inverter to tell us whether or not we're connected to the internet. If the light is blue, you're connected, but if it's not, you're disconnected. If the blue LED light is not illuminated, check to make sure that your ethernet connection is plugged into the beacon. Second, we'll wanna look on the device page to make sure that the Rebus beacon shows up. Note, the term disabled does not mean that it's not connected to the internet. That just means that you're not using a time of use schedule. If you don't find the beacon on the device list, We'll open up the inverter and check the power path as well as the internet connection to the beacon. In the upper left corner of the inverter, you'll notice the Rebus beacon. Check for two USB cables, one plugged here, and the second, a loopback jumper that provides power to the backside of the beacon. Also look for your ethernet connection here in the back. Please note, if you have an RGM, or an LTE kit, there may be additional USB connections. If you do have an LTE kit, please note this troubleshooting will not be valid. After removing the dead front, we're gonna to wanna to check two connections in the wiring compartment of the inverter. The first is the Beacon USB B port here, and the second is the ethernet connection here in the back underneath the Rebus terminals. If all the connections look solid, but you're still not getting connection with your beacon, let's try power cycling the beacon. This can be done by unplugging the USB port on the inverter, waiting approximately one minute, and then plugging the beacon back in. If after power cycling the Rebus beacon, you're still having connectivity issues, try bypassing the internal ethernet connection. Simply take the customer supplied ethernet cable and plug it directly into the RJ45 connection on the Rebus beacon. If internet connection is restored, replace or check the internal jumper behind the DC breakers for kinks or breaks. If the beacon is still not showing up on the device page, try replacing the internal USB cable with the known good USB cable you brought with you. If the beacon continues to not show up on the device page, contact tech support. Next, we'll want to take a closer look at the link lights on the RJ45 connection. Just seeing link lights flashing doesn't necessarily mean that you have an internet connection. We'll want to use the installer tool to get more information. Next, let's access the installer tool and verify the simple IP settings. You want to make sure that the IP address is populating and you're getting a gateway assignment. If not, let's check where the internet is connected in in the home. Generac does not support or recommend using Wi-Fi extenders, and you need to connect the internet directly into a router, not into the modem. If you're still having issues after going through these simple troubleshooting steps, give our technical support team a call and we'll be happy to help. Thanks again for joining me for PowerCell Pro Tips. We'll see you next time.